This lesson is going to talk about genetics and more specifically we're going to go over codominance and incomplete dominance. So first off let's talk about dominant alleles which are always denoted by a capital letter and dominant alleles have um, that specific phenotype will be observed when it's either homozygous or heterozygous. Either way the dominant allele will be, or phenotype will be expressed. So it's always expressed when present. A recessive allele, on the other hand, is always denoted by a lowercase letter. And this phenotype is only observed when it is homozygous. So if it's heterozygous, we will not see the recessive phenotype. And so if we look at an example of eye color, let's just say that blue is dominant, so it's going to get capital A, and brown is recessive, so this will be a lowercase a. So if someone is AA, two capital A's, this will be homozygous dominant. which will mean they have blue eyes. And then if we have one uppercase, one lowercase, this is heterozygous. And so in this case, we're still going to have blue eyes because blue is the dominant. And if we have two lowercase a's, this is homozygous recessive. So now we're going to have brown eyes. So now if we look at codominance, this is when both alleles are fully expressed when you have a heterozygote. So if we look at an example, in chickens, black and white feathers are codominant. So heterozygous chickens have a checkered pattern to their feathers because both alleles are going to be fully expressed. So we're going to have the black in there and we have to have the white resulting in a checkered pattern. Wouldn't that be interesting to actually see? <laughs> but okay, so if we have a checkered hen that's crossed with a checkered rooster, what are the expected ratios of each genotype and phenotype? So if we fill out our Punnett square here, we know that both the mom and the dad are heterozygous. So black, white, black, white. And so if we fill this out, this is what it's going to look like when we cross each. And this is just simply first square. BB and then BW, bottom left to BW, and then we're going to get WW by combining the row and the column. And so this results in a 1 to 4 ratio expected to be black because of our BB. And then we have a 1 to 2 ratio expected to be checkered. And that's because we had two that were BWs. And then we have a 1 to 4 ratio expected to be white because we had the WW. So that's how we would solve that problem. And next we're going to talk about incomplete dominance which is when the heterozygous phenotype is in between the two homozygous ones. So the classic example of this is when you cross red flowers and white flowers and you get pink flowers because pink, which would be, so our heterozygous is going to be in between the red and the white, which gives you the pink. So it's kind of like just mixing the two for incomplete dominance. Whereas complete dominance 
are heterozygous, we don't mix them, we see both of them. So that's why in the chickens, if the chickens were incompletely dominant, then we would get gray chickens for our heterozygous. But since they're co-dominant, we need to see both of those alleles be expressed, so we need to see black and white. And so that's the difference between co-dominance and incomplete dominance.